everybody, welcome back to Drawing with Paolo. Today we're going to draw Wonder Woman. So here's her head, and we're going to draw where her fist is going to be, and her arm. So, so her fist is pointing towards us. Here's her shoulder, and we'll put her uh, left, her right arm here, so her neck goes to her shoulder. And here's where her chest will be. She'll be flying towards us, because Wonder Woman can fly. Here's her right knee and her leg down here. And we'll put her... Uh, left thigh back here that we can see it going backwards and we'll put her arm sort of here her shoulder and her arm is bent so she's flexing her bicep and here's her fist and here's her bicep there we go and we're gonna make the strong Wonder Woman because I believe Wonder Woman being an Amazonian should be really powerful looking this is my point of view so here's where her headband will be this is the basic shape to her headband just like that and there's a star in the middle of it I'm going to draw that later on. Here's her face. So the difference between a female face is pretty much the cheekbones, I would say. The difference between a man's face and a woman's face are the cheekbones. And we can do the same kind of jaw, sort of squarish, but a little bit rounded. We're going to work on that a little bit later on as well. But see, these, these lines are the jawline, are the, the cheekbones. And the cheekbones, you've got the nose right about here, really small nostrils, a little smaller than the man's face. And then we're going to draw some eyes, so sort of like cat eyes a little bit here. Really elongated in my case, I like doing that. And we'll add a bit of uh, the eyelashes coming out on either side. So a bit of the uh, upper eyelid. <clears throat> the eyebrows here up against her uh, headband. Tiara, whatever this is. We'll add an ear her right ear right over here. And remember, it has to be the same length as her nose. So from the bottom of the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose, that's how we know how long the ears need to be. And we can curve this out a little bit more at the bottom. All right, let's add some hair. We'll add structure to this. Hair, in my case, I sort of draw it like fire. We're gonna just draw it real quickly here to show you what hair sort of looks like. And there you go, we can add a few spikes left and right. And then a little, little curve here and then because she's flying, this will be flailing in the back. And so we, there we go. That's the basic idea that we're looking for. You can draw her hair any shape or form that you like. Um, and then we had to add thickness in the center. So we're going to add a few more hair strokes here and there to fill in. And then we need to erase the middle lines here. Oh, I need to erase the jawline. So we're going to draw that back in. Sometimes my hand is just too powerful and I erase everything. <laughs> I'm going to curve this out a little bit more than it was before. There you go, that's better. And it, it also looks like the head is tilted a little bit towards the front. Now we're going to add our lips. Now the lips need to attach to the jawbone. You see how this goes across? Attaches to the jawbone. And then we'll add the nice thick lips for the top and the bottom. Now this is something that we wouldn't necessarily do for men. There we go, see, and it attaches to this cheekbone. The cheekbone delimits where the lips should be. I'll add a few eyes here. Eye details, the iris inside there. A little, leave a little bit of white. There we go. All right, pull the nose line down. Hey, all right, just coming along. Let's add that uh, star to the middle of the tiara here. So we're gonna just add a few more detail lines to the outside. Make that a little bit darker. All right, work on that star. So triangle, do another triangle on the edge, and so on and so forth, all the way around. Now this, you can draw a star in different ways. You can add uh, your own name there if you want, you do what you wish. But I'm gonna draw the sort of original-ish uh, Wonder Woman form. Now Wonder Woman is from uh, DC Comics. So you can check it out online or go buy one of those comics, why not? It's nothing I used to read very much of, but I used to watch a TV show when I was a kid. So in the 1970s, I think it was, there was a TV show called Wonder Woman. And um, that's where my friend Lizanne has asked for this Wonder Woman today. So she's been waiting for months to get it, just like all of you asking for requests. Uh, wait for months to receive these drawings. I draw one a week. Try to anyway. And here are nice details that we're just finishing up for our Wonder Woman. 
few more lines here. Give this eye, make this a bit darker. Same thing on this side. All right, all right. So let's color in the lips here. And what I'm going to do is just make it dark on either end. So it looks like she's wearing some dark lipstick. And so just by darkening it here on either side like this and leaving a little bit of a white sheen, it looks like her lips are reflecting light. Make that just a bit darker. And then what we want to do is fix up her hair. So we're going to add a few more details to the hair. It's just adding a few more lines. Make it look a little bit less like fire and add a few more strokes in there. Make longer parts and shorter parts and so on and so forth. All right. There we go. A few more lines here and up all to the top. Then what we're going to do is draw in her hand here. So this is her fist. It's pointing right at us. She's flying right at us. Maybe she wants to ensnare us in our in her uh, in her in her what do we call it? The, her lasso. She has a lasso of truth or something, in which she can uh, wrap you up in it, and you can't say other than the truth. Apparently. So there's four fingers. We'll add the knuckles and everything else in a few minutes. We're just going to redo the lines here. All right. So here's. A little bit of a knuckle links to the other one and so on. And we're going to add a few more lines here to show that those knuckles are coming towards us too. Nice, okay. And we'll add a bit of detail here to the bottom of the fingers where she folds her fingers over. And here's her thumb. Can't go without a thumb. Well, for this character anyway. Some characters don't, as some of our human friends don't. And that's okay. All right, here's her forearm. And see these lines? I need to get rid of those. Here's her shoulder. Finish that off a little bit. So forearm goes underneath. And then here's her shoulder. Attaches to her head. And we need to get rid of that. But you don't need those additional lines there. All right, we're gonna add our other shoulder here, make that a little bit thinner. We're gonna add our breastplate on this side. Here's one. The right side over here, we're gonna work all our way through, all the way through like that. Second breastplate. It's just really circles, half circles. And then we need to pull this across, which is the armor she, she wears. Can't say that protects very much, but then again, her skin is made of steel. Or anyway, as really resilient as. And here's that sort of eagle that she, or whatever she's wearing on her chest is a crest that represents a, a bird of some kind. Maybe a falcon, uh, probably an eagle. Here we go. Add a few attachment lines here. And then here's her shoulder. It comes down here to her tricep muscle. We're gonna add her little uh, bikini bottom here which has the, uh, the American stars and white on blue. Here's her leg really bent towards us. Add a bit of detail lining here. There's her bicep. Um, I think we're gonna just finish up our tiara first because Always work from top to bottom, right? So let's add some of that metallic, metallic sheen, the reflection, sort of like we did for our knight in shining armor, riding a horse. We're gonna add that detail like that. And we're also going to be adding a few more lines here to that face, just like this. Cool, now we're gonna add a bit of a shadow underneath her uh, chin here, her neckline. A few neck muscles here. Make that just a bit darker. A little bit darker underneath here as well. I think we need to erase this line, which is a little bit too long. We don't want that uh, cheekbone to go right into her mouth. We're going to make that shorter. 
And then we're gonna add a few more fold lines here to the fingers. And her nail, of course, the thumbnail. And we need to get rid of all these lines. Nice, okay, we're getting nice and clean. I'm not sure about that leg, that first leg I drew, might erase that later on, redraw it differently. Here are the details of the chest plate. These were sort of represent the wings to that bird. And these are metallic as well, so we need to uh, give it that metallic reflection. And it also forms a W here on the, on the chest, so. For Wonder Woman, it's a double W. And it goes all the way to her belt. And we can color that in a little bit darker, so, because it's underneath her, so the light doesn't get there. And we can add a few more stars here. She has one on her tiara, and then we have another one over here, and more on the sides. It's nice and small, sort of flat looking. Then we'll color in around that, and I'll speed that up a little bit. There we go. And we'll do the same for the hair. We're gonna color in the hair and add a few more hair details, sort of like this, showing the flow and the pattern of the hair. And then we're gonna color that in, all nice and black. So sort of like what we did with tree bark for my uh, uh, leopard drawing in a tree. Sort of the same pattern here. It's not the same texture, of course, but it's the same way of drawing things. You draw lines, and in between those lines, make it nice and dark, and add a few more details and so on. So I just got a separation here to her pecs, and her clavicle over here, and then her clavicle over here. It goes into the deltoid muscle. And then we're going to start coloring the hair again. So here we go. You know, sometimes I'll pause and go to another detail because it's sort of bugging me at the moment and then I'll take care of it right away and then go back to coloring the hair, for example. That's okay. But just as I was saying, I'm drawing in some lines and in between those lines I make it nice and dark. But in this case, we really want to make it a lot darker than we did. And all these lines need to get rid of that, clear that up. All right, let's redo the outline here. I'm going to speed that up a little bit because you know how to retrace outlines. If you've been following me for a bit, you should know how to do this part. If you haven't been following me for a while, well, hey, welcome, everybody. And there's lots of videos. There's a whole bunch on my YouTube channel. You want to go to Paolo Moroni or youtube.com slash user slash Paolo Moroni, and you'll find my YouTube channel. Or click on my name in blue next to any one of the videos that you're following, and you'll end up on my YouTube channel. You can join and subscribe and follow along every week as I publish another drawing. And this one of Wonder Woman, which is a special request by one of my friends, Lizanne, who's asked for Wonder Woman. Now, you may have seen this as well. I've used this paper before, and people ask me, why do you use that paper? I don't understand. So look, see where my hand is right now? It's on top of a part of the drawing. If I didn't have that piece of paper, my palm would be scrubbing all over that drawing, and I'd be spreading the graphite all over the place and smudging my paper, my drawing. So this white piece of paper is allowing me not to smudge my drawing. See, I moved around a little bit to get to the details I want to get to, so like sort of this bird head here. And as I'm coloring along, I'm not smudging what's underneath because what's taking the brunt of my drawing is the piece of paper that I've put on top of my drawing. So you can even see when I remove my hand, it's, it gets a little, you can see the paper's a little bit darker now because my, my hand was already a little bit dirty due to the drawing, my initial drawing. And then I would have smudged everything. I don't want to do that. All right, so we're going to color this part in as well. Add some shading. And because you've seen me do the left side, I'm going to speed up the right side here a little bit. All right, as I said, I'm not too sure uh, about this right leg. So we're going to draw the right hand first. And she'll be holding her lasso, lasso or lasso in her uh, right hand here, so we're going to draw a fist, clenched fist once again. I like drawing those fingers independently and then adding the knuckles back here. It sort of helps with establishing a really nice hand shape. You can do that rather quickly. And then redarkening uh, the outlines here. There we go. All the way to her thumb. And then her bicep over here. She's a strong woman. She can lift an elephant. <clears throat> Pretty sure anyway. There's a tricep muscle for the bicep muscle over here. Sort of attaches to the deltoid. 
and we can shade this in a little bit. There we go, to give it a bit more depth, make it rounder. Erase this part, all that leg, I don't like it. I'm gonna redo it. So as I've been saying, I'm not sure I like that leg, so we're gonna restart it, and that's okay. You don't have to uh, keep to your drawing. You can erase the parts you don't like, or you can even make a mistake, start up a new one, but it's okay to erase. You don't have to draw everything in one shot. Here's our lasso. We're gonna draw these individual shapes. And these are a little bit difficult because they're big circles or big ellipses, and they're tough to draw, even, even for me. I'm having a hard time here. This is only one. Now I need to draw a bunch of these. I don't have all day either, so we wanna go like, you know, just draw through this. It doesn't really matter. Just have fun. It doesn't have to be perfect in any way. You know, just draw this. Yeah, we have a few more of those to do. We need to erase the overlap lines here. There we go. So I got a few more of these. Erase the overlap lines here too. I'm not supposed to be seeing lines going through the lasso cords there. So draw a few more going all the way to the bottom of the hand. Oop, this one's a bit too thick. Doesn't matter. We can keep going. All right. <laughs> lasso changes size. This, this is a magical lasso, right? All right, so we're going to redraw her thigh. I think I'm going to have it come all straight down, rather. Just like that. And it's a powerful leg, so we need to add muscle in here. And here's her bikini bottom. Just like that. Latches around. And we're going to add her uh, leg muscles here, thigh muscles. Now that's a strong leg. Make that nice and dark. There we go. And the knee. And we can shade that in too. So see this part here is where it's going to be all dark because that's where uh, the light is blocked by your body and shadows in. This whole part. We can make it a little bit rounder here on the left side. Give the illusion of 3D. <clears throat> there we go and color the knee as well. All right, folks, we're nearly done here. It's coming along really well. So we need to do the left leg. And this one has a fewer details. We're just going to color that in totally dark. Make the bottom part darkest. And retrace that a little bit more. All right. Well, now we're going to add more lasso strings here, which is not my favorite part of the drawing, I have to say. Hopefully, you've made yours better. And if ever I were to draw Wonder Woman again, I guess I'd draw the lasso differently, or I wouldn't draw it at all. <laughs> But you know what, in drawing you don't really have a choice. In certain cases, you have to draw those things you don't like to draw, and you have to pay as much attention to them, it's important. In this case, I'm just, you know, just playing around here, drawing a whole bunch of these things. And I don't really feel like doing them, but I'm doing them anyway. It's part of the character, you have to do them. Should have done them better, but it doesn't matter. You get the idea. Here and through here. And this goes up like this. There you go. One person that draws a great Wonder Woman is Jim Lee. Draws for DC Comics, draws the Justice League at the moment, I think. At the moment that this video is being uh, shot, uh, Justice League by Jim Lee is pretty cool. You can check out his Wonder Woman. Uh, very sexy. Not as powerful as mine, uh, however. Mine is a strong Wonder Woman. If she can lift an elephant, she should look like she can lift an elephant, right? I know she's magical and all that, but I like to show muscle, so here we go. A few more details to her hand here. The knuckles. And folds on her fingers. A little bit darker here on the side of her bicep. It gives it a bit more depth. It pushes that arm back a little bit. And we need to do our underarm here, so let's get this out of the way. There we go. There's additional lines that we don't need anymore, we can erase them. 
And we'll color the underneath here. Make this dark and each finger as well. There we go. Nice. We're going to be coloring this part too. So we're going to shade or skin a little bit here to show that there's depth here too. So we're going to make this go all the way to the center there. And at the center, it sort of fades away. So darken on the outer edges, sort of like that. And that's it. And then we're going to work our way to the middle. And as we work our way to the middle here, we, it sort of fades. So we're using a gradient here. Gradient is from dark to light. Your shoulder as well, a little bit of a dark spot here. And here too. Right, not bad. Okay, let's work on the environment. So what we're gonna do is real easily, because she's flying towards us, we can imagine that she's in the sky. So we're just gonna draw some real easy clouds, nothing too complicated. You've probably drawn clouds before, so you might like to make the bottom flat. There we go, and draw those clouds around. If you'd like to know how to draw really good clouds, just go outside, watch the clouds, look at the sky, see what they look like. These are little cartoonish clouds, but you know, it, it fills the, uh, the void in the back there. We'll draw one over here, the bottom line. Then we need to draw one through. Uh, and color all of this stuff. So we're gonna draw right through the back here. Make it all uh, Diagonal lines. And that's that. So, Lizanne, I hope you like your uh, Wonder Woman. Everybody out there that's asked for Wonder Woman, well, here she is. And I really hope you like it. I like it. It's not too bad. See you next time on another episode of Drawing with Colin.